wildlife is not restricted to natural areas only, but we share our space in cities, towns and human settlements with many living organisms. Many times, cities do not represent a hostile environment but rather a home and refuge for many species. In the near future, more than 50% of humans will live in cities and they will represent an increasing resource for the living organisms that share those areas. It is very important to be able to establish the composition of living communities, the evolution in number and the location of said communities and the effect of conservation policies on these communities. The most reliable scientific approach to these issues is the establishment of standardized biodiversity monitoring programs. They are standardized because they allow sampling efforts to be replicated over time, allowing results to be compared with other locations using similar approaches and being able to establish trends or variations in populations over long periods of time. The use of one study model or another will determine the monitoring techniques that will be used. Census techniques that maintain the same transect walls are useful for butterflies, ants, birds or bats. Again, each species will need specific census techniques, ranging from entomological nets for butterflies to binoculars or ultrasound microphones and recorders for bats. Sometimes it is not necessary to use dynamic techniques and some static sampling points and techniques can be implemented. If we want to monitor birds, scientific ranging stations with the same number of nets in the same locations during the same number of hours will provide data. Nest boxes located in trees will provide data on productivity indexes, population status, etc. Variation plots maintaining the sampling area can provide very useful information on plant communities, evolution or even the potential effect of managing decisions. The role of the universities as generators of knowledge and science transfer institutions can be well exemplified with this kind of programs. Standardized biodiversity monitoring program at the University Complutense has been going on for more than 10 years, involving a wide variety of activities and people from professors to students, university staff and the general public. If standardized biodiversity monitoring programs are designed to be maintained over time, it is necessary to adequate the effort to the available present and future resources. It is very important for institutions supporting such programs to realize that the investment both in time and in resources will pay off in terms of managing information scientific output and the transfer to society.